Imagine this situation. Someone comes to you and tells you they have a present for you, but instead of giving you a wrapped box, they straight up tell you what it is. Or they give you a gift card and then you exchange it for the actual present. Won't you rather receive a mysterious box that hides your present inside and that you get to hold, tear the paper and then there it is, your precious gift. That thrill of not knowing, the physical act of discovering something, even if it is disappointing, because for a moment, in your mind, that box contained exactly what you desired in that very instant. Well, that's my philosophy for chests in tabletop games. You can theater of the mind them and tell your players what they get. You can use a chest card or chest token, and that's fine for some people. But think how happy your players will be when you give them an actual present in an actual box that they get to actually open. It can be a pile of loot, a crossbow bolt to their face, a cute little friend, or actual money, because why is it always the characters that get all the gold while the players get broke buying stupidly expensive miniatures? The measurements I'm going to give you will result in a piece that is a little on the big side, but you're gonna be handling it, opening and closing it, putting stuff in, taking stuff out, feeding it players, brushing its teeth, tucking it into bed, so it's a good thing to have it to be too large rather than too small. First draw and cut out these two pieces on cardboard. The long one, make sure you draw it perpendicular to the corrugations of the cardboard. We need to bend this one to make a box. To help make the bending process easier and more precise, slice the top layer of the cardboard, being careful not to cut all the way, just the surface. Assemble the box with hot glue. Now this long strip is going to make the lid. Use the corrugation to bend it several times until you get a nice curve. Line it in place and tape this side. Then wrap it around until you reach around halfway of the curve. Draw a line where you should cut the excess. Go back and glue the lid all the way around the curve, but not to the front of the chest. Now mark the sides and cut them too. At this point you should have something like this. A nice chest shaped box that you can use to fake propose to things. To secure the hinge, you can put another piece of tape on the inside and a couple lines of hot glue to prevent tearing. Now texture. Spread some hot glue in a thin layer and using the edge of the tip of the gun, draw some straight lines. And I say straight because controlling this thing is damn hard, so when you go for straight line it is going to end up wavy, which is what we want. Don't worry about messy corners since we are going to cover them up anyway. Now we need to cut a strip of thin EVA foam or any kind of semi-elastic material of around 6mm wide and 12cm long. Wrap it around, stretching it just a little bit and mark the back corner. Cut the strip and glue it to the lid, but only the top half. We need the bottom half to cover the bottom piece of the chest, keeping it closed. Start on the side, stretch it a bit glue the front, stretch it again, and glue the other side. Now take the piece you cut off and glue it to the back. Sadly, this piece cannot be aligned with the longer one, because it would get in the way of the lid opening, so glue it slightly up or down. Now all we have left is decoration. As long as it doesn't interfere with the chest opening and closing, you can do anything you want, like engraving runes on the wood, or putting jewels and crystals on the lock or golden filigrees on the rims, or being a boring ass person and doing a conservative chest design with strips of paper glued to the corners. Fantasy. Now prime it and paint it as you want, and coat with glue the inside of the chest as well as the EVA foam and the edge of the bottom part to avoid friction chipping the paint. I was having trouble while planning this video because if I show you how to do the chest and all the stuff I've done to put inside, it is gonna be a long and boring video. But teaching you only how to make a chest, 
Well, there's plenty of other better tutorials on that matter, so I'm going to give you a super quick tutorial on how I did the stuff you saw at the beginning of the video, and if you have questions on anything specific, I will answer them. Okay, let's go. Random pile of loot. Metallic nut and pieces of foam on the sides. Button, toothpick, hot glue, paper, toothpicks, more toothpicks with tape wrinkle at the top, rolled up paper with tape covering it, hot glue. Crossbow trap. 2x3 piece of foam, piece of wire, EVA foam crossbow, piece of wire, hot glue. You can put a washer on the bottom to give it some weight and use it as a token on your games outside of the chest. Mimic. Two pieces of 2x3, 0.5cm thick foam or EVA foam so it's elastic and fits better. Tips of toothpicks with hot glue and strip of paper covered in hot glue. Make sure both parts fit and the chest can be closed before priming and painting. Actual money. If I knew how to make actual money, I wouldn't be here making silly videos. I'm broke. Somebody hire me before I start.